Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. This particular blog obviously came from someone in the DLP camp, and it's always a constant attack on the Mia Motley administration. But when they talk about MCC and MTW and the trucks and the hauling and the private work they're doing and the money that they're making and the money is being missing and the Auditor General is looking for the money and it's in these people's pockets. What can happen? This can be all streamlined, all of it. And it has been happening since forever. You know that. You know that this has been happening. Sometimes you see the guys in the yard and the trucks are all parked and they're doing nothing. So if they can, if they can work for the public, who is paying their taxes and paying them? Okay. It's all in the same box. You're all in the same boat. So if instead of sitting around and doing nothing, you can work for the public in a private way, but streamline it streamline it so the money goes back into the government the government's pocket now the the every all the equipment all of that equipment can be outfitted to have coded operations like for instance to start it you have to put in a code so they know that code it belongs to joe blow okay and it should have some sort of gps on it so that from the time you started and that that vehicle starts moving on the streets of Barbados, there's a mainframe that's collecting that information and it knows where that particular vehicle was going, how long it stayed there, who was driving it. All that, all of that can be done in a matter of just clicks. The same way you could tell the older people to get on the bus and just like, swipe their card or just tap on what a tap and go the same way you can do with these ncc and mtw workers they they should have some sort of technology that they can tap you know who's driving you know how long they've been on, on a particular job you know where they've been the address you know everything that they've done put gps on the MTW and NCC vehicles, put cameras on them. You know who's driving, you know what they're doing, streamline it. Anytime they work for anyone, make sure, make sure the checks are made payable to the government, to the government. No cash, no favors, no favors, all up and up. This can be, this can be done. Okay, so when you're talking about taxes, your taxation minister from past, from the past, Chris Sinclair, you forget about him? Have you forgotten about Chris Sinclair? Okay. It wasn't good then either. But with technology, and you do have it, you do have it, and you do have knowledge of it. Put that into play. Put it on every vehicle. Put it on all government vehicles so that you know who is driving what, where, how long they stay there, how much gas they, they, they use to go back and forth. Do it. Do it and stop complaining. This is not a BLP, DLP murder. This is human. This is just human nature. And they're going to try to, even when you do what I say you should do, they're going to try to do something to, 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 to try to cheat that system. You always have to be ahead of the game, okay? Stop complaining and always try to be ahead of the game. Make sure that whenever a vehicle is turned on, you know who's driving it, where they're going. Put GPS, put cameras, and do the tap and go for the government employees to do that tap and go thing for the government employees. This is Sherry Veronica.